Hello everyone, uh, this video is actually a little bit different. There's gonna be a very big patch with start of episode 3. And since we're playing on a test server that partly has those changes implemented, but not everything, I can talk about the changes that I realized happened during the game or during this, uh, you know, during this test. Uh, so we're gonna go through all of those um characters and i'll tell you what changed so we start with astra first and foremost you only have one star like one charge per round for three not two big change right but because of that your astral forms are also cheaper instead of 200 they cost 150 each so that makes her uh basically you are getting 400 credits per round this time you're getting 150 but you're also spending 200 uh, credits less right for the full charge uh which is a good change because she was too versatile even on a no, even while not buying anything she still had basically two smokes every single round or something else right so she was very versatile especially with the fakes uh now when it comes to gravity well and never pulls uh there's also a big change uh those two have a higher cooldown now it's gonna be 24 seconds or even 25 for each which by the way is the number that i was suggesting in my feedback uh so i'm very happy to see this change uh because of that the pull and the stun will not be as overpowered as we have seen them in the past um that's about it uh when it comes to astro changes now when it comes to breach there are some massive changes here first and foremost you only have two flashes they also cost more so not only have less flashes they also cost 50 more and your aftershock is 200, not 100. And you might ask why? Well, I guess Riot wanted to unnerve the guy who just could not let you play the game because you were always blind, right? And uh, the aftershock now costs 200 because it works, works a little bit differently. I'm going to show it to you guys. So basically how the aftershock works now is deals damage not in one wave, but in three waves. And it deals every single wave deals 50 damage. So it's a little bit different. Look. Oh. Keep up. So it doesn't deal one like increment of damage. It just deals three times damage, so it's easier to get out of it. But if I'm not mistaken, I couldn't test it out with the live build, but I think it has the same wind-up time. So essentially, this is a nerf. But I might be wrong. I might be wrong. This might be actually... No, I think the wind-up time, like, uh, one, one wind time is exactly the same as before. So I think this is a direct nerf in both price and the damage. Because it needs to hit someone three times to kill him. Anyway, someone can correct me uh, later on. You can, uh, like, test it out if the wind-up time, time is the same. All right, now let's go to the next character, Brimstone. We have changes to the incendiary. It costs 250. Everything else is the same. Now, why do I think that matters? Is that the Steam Beacon is most likely uh, very hugely nerfed because we get less cash, right? We spend more onto, uh, like, our utility in general. Uh, so you're not going to want to spend on your credits on Steam Beacon because you're going to spend more on the Incendiary. So most of the time you're going to play with one Steam Beacon if you want to buy the Incendiary, right? Or just not buy the Steam Beacon to have more cash for rifles. Rifles are still costing the same. The cost of the Judge went up, right? And the cost of, um, uh, of the Bulldog and the Guardian went down. So there's a lot of implications when it comes to what do you buy, what do, what do you not buy. And because of that, I feel like Steam Beacon might be even used less than it was in the past. Uh, and that's about it when it comes to the Brim. Now, next agent. Essentially, nothing changed for, for Cypher, apart from the fact that his ultimate is now a 6 charger. Yay! Good for Cyphers, you know? Um, his ult at 7 was terrible. So that's the only change for Cypher. Nice. Huge nice. changes. Huge, it. huge changes. First and foremost, her ultimate is a 7 charger. 7. Huge change for economy as well, because as you guys know, Jet was always dropping a rifle in pro play when she had knives. So she could 
basic she basically with every single ultimate she was gaining like 3k almost 3k for the team which is nuts for an ultimate that costs six so essentially it, it was breaking up a little bit of the economy for one team especially if the other team wasn't playing jet this way it's way harder to have um the ultimate ready um uh, for for the jet it's it, it it changed the tempo of the game for her uh, and it's also harder for her to activate it during the rounds, right? So this has huge implications. Now, unfortunately, the Tailwind didn't get changed in any way, but we have changes to the other stuff. Now, right now, Jet is actually a very expensive agent. Every single of her smokes costs 200, not 100, and her updraft is a 150. So her entire kit costs $900, I mean, credits, which is, if I'm not mistaken, the highest in the game right now, which I don't mind because I absolutely despise this character. But I do think that the problematic thing for her, which is the Tailwind, wasn't changed and that's still an issue. But in general, Jet got nerfed really bad. Uh, but for the most important things, so dash into sight with a, with a smoke or two is not changed at all. So this is going to be still very problematic. She still gets the... Uh, get out of the jail for free card as well with the operator uh, or when she just misses her bullet with everything else so this is something I really don't like I would love to see that dash being changed into one direction uh, where she looks at but it is what it is uh, all right next character we have KO we don't have to speak about him Killjoy mm, there are actually no changes to Killjoy so we don't have to do that uh, Omen 30 seconds Omen has big changes as well. His Shrouded Step is 150 instead of 100. His Paranoia, though, costs now 300 instead of 400. Big, big, big change because now we can play Ghost and Paranoia. And we weren't able to do that before. You can also play Frenzy and Paranoia, which is also a big change. Uh, so Paranoia, Frenzy is a really big combo. Uh, Dark Cover also costs 100, right? You still have uh, the cooldown on it. Uh, for um, after you drop it, right? It's 40 seconds. Was it 40 seconds? I think it was less before, right? I think it was 35. Anyway, but you only get one for free. So you always have to buy the second, which costs you 100. So this is a big change for uh, Mr. Omen. Uh, okay, now another agent. Phoenix. Phoenix changes. Um, Flash is more expensive for 250. The ultimate didn't change, it's still at 6, which makes it one of the most powerful ultimates in the game, and that's about it. The only thing that changed are the curveballs, unless there's something else in the numbers that I cannot see uh, when it comes to the damage. Uh, but the curveballs are now more expensive, which I don't think is a big of a deal, uh, because he was already pretty cheap as an, as an agent, and uh, he was saving a lot on shields when he was using his ultimate, like people were buying small shields instead of a lot of big shields instead. So I feel like Phoenix is not really hurt that much by the other, by the changes. Other people are more hurt, so it gives easier kills for Phoenix. So it's, he's essentially buffed. Um, now we get to Raze. Oh, and boy, oh boy, I'm happy about this one. Maybe not the changes I wanted to see, but she is big time nerfed. Big time, big time nerfed. I don't know about the damage, maybe it was changed something as well, but her ultimate is an 8th charger. 8th charger. First time we're seeing this. 8th charger ultimate for the showstopper. Big, big change. Big, big change. Uh, blast packs cost the same. Boombot for 400. So her entire kit is 800. And you cannot buy a ghost and a boombot in pistol round, which is huge. So if you want to play Boombot in Pistol Round, you need to play Light Shields or Blast Packs, but I don't think that will be the case. So you play Boombot and Light Shields, right? Because you cannot buy the Frenzy and you're most likely not going to buy the Shorty. So yeah, big changes to, to uh, Raze. Very big nerf for her Pistol Round and I'm pretty happy about that because she was very explosive and that shouldn't be the case. Uh, and then next one, Reyna. Small changes to her. Ultimate still at 6. You guessed it. The flash got increased by 50 credits. So it's 250 on the Leer and 200 on the Devour. I think it's the same case as with Phoenix. She won't be really affected that much by it since most people were not really buying a Leers that often anyway. When you had like on Pistol Round, you buy a Devour and a Ghost. 
Uh, then on the second round, you buy, you buy a Ghost again. And then on the third round, you buy a Rifle, Big Shields, and you still have two Devouts. So you play like three rounds without Leer. Um, and uh, I feel like because of that, she was, she's going to be actually a little bit buffed because of that. Because most people, most other people will have to buy the utility, right? And you won't. So you're going to have easier time killing them because they're going to play on small shields more often than you. Uh, this is all theory, by the way. I might be wrong. But I feel like this would be the case for Reyna. And then we have... Who else do we have? Sage. Looky, looky. An 8th Charger of an ult. 8th Charger of an ult. And the Barrier Orb costs 400. Which I am not certain if it was before or not. I'm actually... I can't remember if it was 3 or 400. I think it was 300, right? After the last buff, it was changed from 400 to 300. And now it's back from 300 to 400. Maybe it's a little bit stronger. I don't know. And each slow orb is 200. Sage is currently expensive. 800 credits for full utility. It's actually nuts. Maybe he, she got buffed on the heal, but I didn't check that. So we'll see. But yeah, big nerf for race, big nerf for Sage, big nerf for Jet so far. And Breach, of course. And Sky, which we're going to talk right now about. Last round, Sky, ultimate is the same, so no changes here. But her Trailblazer and Guiding Light are all costing 250, which is nuts. Wait, does that make her the most expensive agent? She's actually 950 now, so she is the most expensive agent. Sky, with 950 credits to buy her full kit, this is nuts. Um, you know, she has a very useful ult that only costs 6. So, but you can see the difference here, right? For a duelist, for Phoenix or Reyna to be fully effective, you don't really need much, right? For a Sky to be fully effective, you need this stuff. So, this is gonna be tough. For, for people who are maining Sky, I feel like this, is, this might actually make you not play her. Maybe you're gonna play Breach instead if you're still gonna stick to this uh, kind of... Um, uh, to, this, to this type of playstyle. But it's gonna be tough. Like, Sky mains, I wish you luck, my friends. She might get buffed in the future. Wh who knows? This feels like it's, uh, it's a huge, huge nerf. Okay, Sova. Whew. Grab your seats, boys and girls. Another 8th charger of an ult. 8th charger for Sova. And his shock bolts... Shock Pulse? Was it always Shock Pulse, not Shock Dart? Anyway, it costs 150 and his Owl Drone is 400. No more Ghosts and Owl Drone in Pistol Round. Big, 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 big change, right? Um, if you want to play Ghost, you can buy Shock Pulse. <laughs> shock Bolt! Two of them. And that's about it. Big change. Big changes for Sova. He got nerfed a lot nerfed a lot like really a lot i don't think he's that great anymore he's still very good but it's gonna be very expensive to play him like very very expensive to play him uh so will that change the compositions will people play more dualist because of that i would I, I probably i probably see this happening in ranked not in pro play but in rank we're probably gonna see way more dualists because that would be so much easier to play than a sova sky or breach an example or Sage. Alright, Viper. You guys are gonna be like, Hey, lot of Talas. Was she grounded? Well, not really, to be honest. The only thing that I have seen her change is, uh, is, 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 uh, the only thing that I, the only thing that I have seen been changed is the snake bite. Instead of 100, it costs 200 now. So you have to spend 200 more credits per round to get everything going, which is a, you know, from 400 to 600, that's a big thing. But she was very cheap before. So, I don't really consider this being a huge change to her. Like, uh, she was very cheap to run. So, this still doesn't change anything uh, at all, in my opinion. Uh, but, I do not know. I feel, I feel like the fuel is exactly the same. And nothing changed there. But I'm not certain about the actual numbers of the damage, uh, the DK and so on, on the actual utility. So maybe something changed there. Like, I have no clue. 
Then we have Yoru. 30 seconds left. I'll pick him apart. You clean up whatever. Yoru. His flashes. As the every other flash got changed to 250. Uh, his um, his cooldown on the teleport got increased to 40 instead of 35, if I'm not mistaken. I think his, his teleport was 35 seconds, not 40. Because I remember when it was running out of cooldown, at the beginning of the round you had like 5 seconds left on it. And now it's going to be 10 seconds left. Um, and his fake out is still at 100 credits. So I feel like this is going to be the same case with uh, Brimstone, even bigger problem. I don't think a Yoru player will even buy a fake out most of the rounds because he's gonna have to sacrifice 100 more credits to, to get two flashes. So, uh, yeah. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get that. Wait, do I see correctly that you gate crush costs 200? Wait, what? Jump them. 30 seconds left. I don't care. Oh, you get it for free. Uh, well, never mind. Let's go. Anyway, um, that's about it. Thank you very much for sticking with the video. I hope you guys learned something new. Oh, by the way, changes to guns, right? Yeah, I'm going to talk about it quickly because I'm not certain uh, about the numbers, but I'm going to tell you my first impressions. Uh, Bulldog just got cheaper. I don't think anything changed. Uh, Guardian, the same, just got cheaper. Um, then we have uh, Judge, who got nerfed by the price and also his damage. The damage up to 10 meters is exactly the same, so the gun is exactly the same up to 10 meters, but above 10 meters, 10 to 15 meters, the damage is nerfed hugely. From like 26 to the head to 20, and from, if I'm not mistaken, 13 body to 10 body, which re like wrecks up. So um, those are huge changes to, to judge, and he's not going to be as lethal up to t those 10-15 meters um, range anymore. Now, when it comes to Frenzy, I didn't see any changes to it at all, apart from the price. And when it comes to Stinger, I swear, it feels better to play with the Stinger. But I don't see any numbers being changed uh, with, uh, with its stats. So I'm really confused about this. Stinger really feels better to play, but I think only the numbers on the, on the price change, nothing else. I'm not certain. I'm not certain. Really not. Operator seems to be the same. The changes of, of the of the price actually kind of make sense because Jet became so much more expensive, right? And the Ares is also, also the same. Uh, so yeah, Marshall the same as well. Only the price changes because they need to align with the utility changes. All right. You guys have fun. See you around. Bye-bye.